There's an uplifting feeling about the Seattle Mariners of late, and why not? Through the month of August, they're eight and five. But moreover, they're hitting 286, by far their best month of swinging the bat in tonight's game two of a three-game set with the Toronto Blue Jays. The Mariners and the Blue Jays coming down from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Good evening, everybody. Dave Sims along with Mike Flowers. Good to have you with us. And swinging the bat, it's been a great theme. And the Mariners trying to keep that thing going. Mike Carp leading the way. Mike Carp has been the hot hitter for the Mariners. And now we're starting to see him drive the baseball. See what he's done over his 15-game hitting streak, hitting 377 over that streak, 11 runs scored. And last night, wow, has he really been swinging it. Take a look at this home run. He's going to hit it the other way, which is a good sign. I like to see him that are able to drive the ball the other way out of the ballpark into the Mariner bullpen. And then late in the game, Mariner's down by a run. He gets a slider that just hangs off the left-hander. Another 0-2 pitch. Just a couple times we've seen him do that against lefties. Hits a home run into the seats to tie the ball game. It's a Mike Carp. Hitting cleanup in this lineup now. He was trying to find a place to just get in the lineup at one point. <laughs> right. Now he's hitting cleanup, and he's taking that job and run with it. And he's got the longest hitting streak in Major League Baseball right now. As for the starters, a couple of left-handers, Jason Vargas against Brad Mills. And for Vargas against the Rangers, I thought he pitched well in the game. He really started to take a lot off of his fastball, used his changeup, just kept getting softer. And as everybody knows, in Arlington against that lineup, that's a tough task for anyone. But I thought Jason was up for it. He pitched well. The key again for him against the Blue Jays, a club that likes to hit the ball out of the ballpark. You have to keep the ball down and change speeds. And if Jason can do that, he should get some ground ball outs tonight. Tell you what, he is the epitome of a smart pitcher. He's done a heck of an adjustment the last couple of games out against the Angels and the Texas Rangers. So another test here tonight. Glad you're with us, everybody. It's Mariner baseball coming your way. Game two against these Blue Jays in a Mariner offense. It's alive, well, and kicking. And hopefully it continues here tonight. Mariner baseball first pitch straight ahead. Brought to you by Banner Bank. Better ideas, better banking. By CenturyLink. Quest is now CenturyLink. Visit CenturyLink.com to learn more. And by the Emerald Queen Casino. Presenting Grammy winner Johnny Lang with J.J. Gray. This Friday night for tickets, go to EmeraldQueen.com. What a fantastic night for baseball. Hi, your friends. Andrew Mentink here at the Northwest Ford Sports Desk. And the Majors home run leader, Jose Bautista, was contained by Safeco Field and the Mariners pitching last night. Coming up in between pitches of tonight's game, we'll check in on the competition. Curtis Granderson and Mark Teixeira to see if they were able to tie him up in the home run race. But right now we make a beeline to center field and check in with Brad and Bill. Angie, thank you very much. Well, you look at what the Mariners have done offensively, Bill. We all know about Mike Carp's 15-game hitting streak and counting. But how about Casper Wells? Very quietly, he's homered in three straight games, a right-handed power hitter here at Safeco Field. You know, that's a big deal, and he doesn't have any problems with it. He goes out there with ease. There he took uh, Beckett deep, and then on Sunday, more damage. I think the big thing that sticks out with this guy is he, stay, he stays out over the plate. He's a good breaking ball hitter. He's a lot like Carp. Covers the plate. You hit the off speed, you're going to do well in the American League. Last night, the capper off of John Roush in the eighth inning. The game winner. And he's slugging 667 as a Mariner. And that is a big number, folks, with a team that doesn't have a whole lot of power. I told him before the game, hey, you're not supposed to be able to hit from the right side power here at Safeco Field. It's, it's our little secret. Don't tell anybody. Don't wake <laughs> that's up that's anybody. That's a good idea. Yeah, four home he doesn't runs. know any better. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> four home runs. All together for Wells again, three in the last three games. Let's make it four for four. It's Mills and Vargas, Mariners and Jays on the way on Root Sports. Baseball, as we are pleased and proud to be coming to you for the Dave Niehaus Broadcast Center here in beautiful Safeco Field. Game two of a three-game set with the Toronto Blue Jays. Welcome, everybody. The Jays and the Mariners about to tee it up right now here at Seattle, Washington. It's gorgeous. The weather spectacular. Got to be the best in the North American continent right now. Let's take a look at the starting batting order here for the Blue Jays against Jason Vargas. Thank you Dave and leading things off for the Jays it'll be Escobar. Thames with a home run in last night's ball game. It's Batista 34 home runs on the year for him. Lynn the first baseman also with a home run last night. Encarnacion snapped a 13 game hitting streak and it's Rasmus Lowry. Brett Lowry Brother of Danielle Brow, uh, Lowry hit a home run in last night's ball game. Then it's Hill and Aaron Sebia the catcher 
It's ninth. Numbers for Jason Vargas. ERA just over 400. 52 and two-thirds innings pitch for him. 98 strikeouts to 44 walks. Opponents average 258. He's given up 18 home runs this year. And Dave, that's going to be his goal tonight. Keep the ball in the ballpark. You betcha. First pitch. Popped right side. Down the line. Just out of play. For Ichiro. And for Mike Karp. Take a look at the defense behind Jason. In the outfield, it'll be Robinson and left. Gutierrez in center field. Ichiro out and right. And on the infield, Kyle Seager gets to start again at third base. Wilson and Ackley up the middle. Mike Karp, the first baseman tonight. And Miguel Olivo will do the catching. The foul one, foul ball on uh, Escobar. Strike one. You get Fargus next pitch. Is a ball. The very deliberate Tim McClellan calling balls and strikes. Hang in there with him, Dave. He'll let you know eventually. Fouled off. <laughs> when you when you were playing, when you were in the box, you would hear him. He would let you you and the catcher know you, he'd maybe say, oh, no. Right. No, oh, you'd no, have, no, you'd have to figure it out I, too. I, I'd take a pitch if it was borderline. I have to wait, turn around, look at him. Which way are we going with that one, Tim? Okay, here we go again. One and two. I'll say this though, veteran umpire's been through a lot, and he's one of the better ones you're going to no see. No doubt. And easily the tallest of all the umpires working today in the major leagues. Most people remember him in the middle of the George Brett Pine Tar oh, incident in New baby. York, Yankee Stadium, with the home run That's off right. of Goose Gossage. Yes, sir. Working at Satellite News Channel, which is now headline news when that happened. One, two. And down to Seeger. Let's throw across the cart for the first half. Yeah, you mentioned that Pine Tar game? Yeah. And when Brett came out, if you couldn't read that lip read prior, you did at that moment when George comes storming out of the third base dugout at Yankee Stadium. He, you know when I when I saw that he, he 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 looked like he was just a crazy man coming out of there and he was really upset obviously. But I'll tell you this, Tim McClellan is one of the bigger umpires you're going to see. On that. Didn't budge. Didn't budge. Didn't move. <laughs> it's a right field base hit, one hop to each run. Eric Thames last night, first pitch he saw, two run homer. That rookie that waste too much time. Take a look at the base hit. It's going to be a pitch middle of the plate, 81 miles an hour. He gets a change up. That brings up their old world right fielder, Jose Bautista. One for seven career against Vargas, and yes, it was a home run. Foul ball. Bautista, 34 home runs, one ahead of Granderson that leads the American League. Tied for second and run scored with 85. Even at one one. Third time Vargas is facing these Blue Jays this season. He's one and zero, two point eight zero ERA. Got a no decision back on the thirteenth of April. 11 6 loss again. Bombed in three innings up in Toronto in July. Three and one to Bautista. On deck hitters Adam Lynn. His teams combined for six home runs last night, three each. 3 1 pitch. And he takes it for ball four. Early trouble here for Vargas. One out, two on. And 
will bring up Adam Lind. He was one of the guys that homered last night. Thames, Lind, and Laurie. I think the, the good news of that last at bat, all the pitches are down. And that's where you like to see Jason Marks pitching down in the zone. He'll make the adjustment and come up from there a little bit if he has to to get a strike. But if he's going to make his mistakes or miss, you want him to miss down. Lind one for five career against Vargas. Mariners double play depth. Good year for Adam Lind. 21 homers, 68 runs batted in. Second on the club to Bautista in homers. That's a strike two call. One out, two on. Broken bat. Vargas misses it. Ackley's got to play to first for the second out. Tough play for Vargas. It looked like the barrel of the bat was going by him as he tried to backhand it. Able to get in Lynn's kitchen. Just saw the bat off right at the handle. Take a look at it. You can see the barrel go by him as he tries to backhand it. I don't think he would have had any other play but to go to first. That'll distract you a little bit. Sure would. Edwin Encarnacion DHing tonight. I thought it was a strike, it was a ball. 2 0. Oh. So did I. <laughs> right there, hold that hand down like I that. I thought he called the strike. I'm like, wow, he got a high strike, <laughs> top of the strike zone. Good for him. Now that's a ball. Wow. So it's 2 0. Oh. Three and zero now. Then Carnacion, Colby Rasmus is on deck. He's being careful with Edwin. Edwin's been a hot hitter over his last 17 games, hitting 385, has his average up to 284, and you have the left-handed hitter Rasmus on deck. First base open. And Carnacion. He's aboard. Well, here's the guy that Vargas wants to get. The guy he has to get with the bases loaded, two outs. Asmus coming over from the Cardinals since he's joined Toronto, hitting 222 with one homer and five runs batted in. 246, 11 and 40 over at St. Louis. He's trying to get out of the jam. One and one. Throwing a lot of pitches here in the first 21 pitches now for Jason. Just 10 strikes, 11 balls. One one pitch to Rasmus. There's a good changeup. 78 miles an hour. Looks like he's picking up the pattern he established last week in Texas. Staying really soft. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea when you have a bunch of free swingers and guys trying to do damage. Just take more off of it. Well, I thought that was a fabulous game he threw on getaway day last week in Texas to get a win. One two here to Rasmus. Bases loaded, two outs. 
This is that one. Two and two. Vargas is ready. Two two. Well hit to the gap. A lot of people running. Thame scores. Bautista scores. Encarnacion coming around. Scores a bases clearing double by Colby Rasmus, three nothing Toronto. <laughs> so he wanted to get Rasmus, had him two two and couldn't put him away. And he ended up making a mistake. Oliva wanted to go inside. You can see him set up right under the hands, but he leaves the pitch right in the middle of the plate. Just drilled it into right center field. So early explosiveness here in this game, just like last night. Two run homer by Thames made it two nothing. Mariners responded two, with three in the bottom of the second. And here we are, three spot on the board already for Toronto. Keep Brett Lowry. Lowry and looks at a strike. Home run last night on a 1 0 pitch in the second at bat. Pretty good hack there, 1 and 2. Highest scoring team in the league, the Toronto Blue Jays. So went to the count. John Farrell in his first year as manager of the Blue Jays, coming over from the Red Sox, pitching coach over there for a few years. And on the money, base hit, that'll score Rasmus Kuzli 4 0 as Larry will hold with an RBI single. His ninth RBI. Young man from British Columbia. Got a lot of fans here. A lot of Blue Jay fans have come down from Canada. Carl Willis out for a quick chat. Pitch that's down in the zone, probably down out of the strike zone. Like another changeup. Vargas trying to get him to roll over on that pitch, and he's able to keep his hands back and fight it through it. Hit it hard back up the middle. The game started well enough. Escobar grounded out the third, but then a Thames base hit the right. Batista walked in a 3 1. Lind on a ground out got it to second and third. The unintentional, intentional walk to Encarnacion loaded him up, and then Rasmus clears the bases with a double, and now Laurie with the single. Eighth man to the plate, second baseman Aaron Hill. One for four last night. Deep drive left field. Goodbye. Two run homer. They are just teeing off on Jason Vargas. Blue Jays. Fifth in home runs in the American League. They have put up a six spot and a couple of heartbeats here. Another pitch. It's down in the zone, bottom of the strike zone, but it's centered on the plate. No doubt about that one. Hammered in the back of the Blue Jays bullpen. Ninth hitter, J.P. Aaron Sebia. The catcher, he's got some pop with 19 as you look at Hill. That's his sixth home run. Gives him RBIs 42 and 43. In the meantime, 33 pitches now for Jason Vargas. Nothing has gone well in this first inning. 0 oh and 2 to Aaron Sebia. Aaron Lappy. 
loose in the Mariner pen. Two balls, two strikes. Aaron Hill, boy, he launched into that one 371 feet for that home run. 2 2. Aaron CB, fly ball. Coming in as Gutierrez's long run makes the catch. Nine men to the plate. Mariners in a 6 0 hole. And they've been swinging the bat well here in August at 286 clip. They're going to amp it up, have to amp it up here tonight. Here in Seattle with the sun starting to set. Take a look at the Mariner batting order. Well, the Mariners leading things off. It'll be Ichiro. Franklin Gutierrez has been swinging the bat well lately. That's a good sign. He'll move up and hit second in his Ackley Carp. 15 game hitting streak for him. Casper Wells, game winning home run the DH tonight in fifth. Olivo Robinson with three hits in last night's game. Then it's Seager. And the veteran Jack Wilson hits ninth. Take a look at the numbers for Brad Mills a 6.46 ERA. Only 15 in the third innings pitch for him, but eight walks. 15 strikeouts, opponents average 250. He's given up a couple of home runs. Last ball change up. Flip the curve up there, 85 to 87. Red Mills in Arizona. Kind of Mesa lives in Tucson. Well, he is right over the top, mm -hmm. isn't he? And of each row, 0 and 2. His first start against the Mariners, he's thrown one inning in his career against Seattle. When you're talking about the Mariners, they have a number of guys that have been swinging the bats well. And for a six spot in the first they have a lot of game to try to work their way back into it. The big key is going to be shutting down the Blue Jays the rest of the way. Third and baseman Laurie will take care of that. Each row is retired. That's a big hill. Plenty of time though. That's the good news. We'll take a look at the delivery from Mills straight over the top has a change up grip in his hand. There you go circle change. Teach you to pop it up to third. Here's Gutierrez with Chris Chambliss, hitting coach, thrilled that now there is some positive results. He said before the hit started falling in, he had had some good at bats, but now getting a lot of reaping some rewards with some base hits up in the two hole now. Is it 223 starting tonight? I think a lot of people would like to see Franklin finish strong here the last month and a half of the season. I still think that there's some great center fielders in the American League. Edwin Jackson made some sick catches a couple of nights ago, but I still think this guy's the best in center field. I would agree. Edwin Jackson with Detroit. Dave Niehaus put that on him, and it's quite accurate. Drive, but going foul. So Mills in just his fourth start of the season. Big ERA at 646. Six. Mariners trying to capitalize here, trying to get something going in the first. Six runs on four hits by Toronto in the top half of the first. Swing and miss. There's that changeup. Strike out number two. Here's Dustin Ackley. Ackley over four last night.
point one. Look at his delivery. I would think right handers. Pick him up early. Topping out at 88 miles an hour. That was his change up at 77. Also mix in a curveball. Mills a fourth round pick, June 07, first year draft. First taste of the bigs in 09, two games. 0 and 1. Last year, seven games, what 1 and 0. Another strike to Ackley, two and two. Oh, he fooled Ackley big time on that. Mills goes one, two, three in the first. We've got a gorgeous night here at center field, folks. In the bleachers, they're loving it right now. Get that last bit of sunshine. Jay Buter is going to join us when we get back. Ballpark. I like it. Well done, folks. Maybe we can get some fries down to Idaho Road Trip. The kids earned this prize. I like it. Did their chores. Can only get better with rally fries. I'll steal signs for John. <laughs> That's like great. It. That's great. Blue Jays accused of having somebody. Stealing signs from uh, straightaway center field in their home games most recently. Jay Buner joins us. What do you say, Chopper? How are you? Well, I'll tell you what, the way they swung at that first inning, somebody's relaying signs from the bullpen. Hmm? Oh, that was <laughs> what do you think, Michael? I think sometimes. They didn't they, miss very many, did they? No, and unfortunately for Jason, too many balls were centered in the middle of the plate. Mm -hmm. And when you have a good hitting club, which the Jays are, you're going to pay for it. So. Hopefully right now, I mean, all you can do is, is hope that he rebounds and he holds it right where it's at and give the guy a chance to get back in the game. Well, they're going to score some runs. You know that. The yeah. are. I like the Mariners in the month of August hitting 286 far and away. The best month. Well, thanks to Mr. Cart, your pick the click. That's definitely helped 17 ribbies in the month of August already. And we still got what, halfway through. I think I picked in 12 straight days. Yeah, you're smart, <laughs> man. Ride, <laughs> doing all right. Ride it. Good call. Ride it. I love it. <laughs> What was your longest hitting streak? Do you remember? Uh, I think maybe two games. <laughs> I don't know. Nice I really job. Don't nice know. job. I don't. I don't know. I think. I think I had a 12-game hitting streak. And that was. Uh, that was about it. How about you? Uh, it was either 18 or 19. Oh, I'm impressed. Topper. Thanks. So would you just keep thumbing it in the right, man? <laughs> Let it get deep. Hit it off the thumb. Throw the handle. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it works, right? <laughs> Sometimes that's all it takes. <laughs> you take what they give you. <laughs> that's, it. that's what you have to do. Yeah. Well, that's what Jason's got to do tonight. Let's get that cutter going. Start saw bleeding some more of these guys. Keep them from diving on him. Well, the go. big one was Rasmus. He has Rasmus in a 2-2 count. Olivo set up inside. In under his hands. Almost off the plate. Tailed out over the plate. And it ended up in the middle of the plate. And that kind of started it with a gapper. Cleared the bases. And unfortunately, lefties have a tendency to do that against lefties. Another well hit ball. Back up through the middle. Yunel Escobar. Fifth hit for Toronto. And again, middle of the plate. on a 3-2 offering. Here's Ricky Eric Thames again. He'll stand in. He got a base hit to right. This kid first pitch last night hit a bullet for a home run. We got quite a few guys in their lineup that are pretty hot right now. Lowry swinging a pretty hot step. All one to Thames. Or Lowry. Good looking player. Yeah, they get a bunch. Names out of Santa Clara. It was in San Jose, California. It was a pretty good numbers working his way through minor league system. 286, 313, and 288. Seeger giving chase, running out of room. Kind of very good pictures being provided by the fellas downstairs, the guys and girls. Great venue here at Safeco Field. What do you remember about your hitting streak? I mean, did, did, after it got going, did you start just repeating everything during the course of your day, or did you change stuff up? 
Oh, the ball just seemed to pick the ball up out of the pitcher's hand for whatever reason. Chance for two. Jack Wilson. Thames can run. They just got him nicely turned. 4 6 3. And when you're going hot, you just have a tendency to keep things simple, you know? It's usually the key. Nice two hopper for Ackley. It's like Escobar. No, oh, he doesn't get near Jack. Jack gets rid of it quickly. Worked in it by Carp. Here's Bautista. Ooh. Seems to me when you get into those hitting streaks, Jay, for me, I know it was it was more just the game slowing down. Yeah. And I, I always marveled at guys that could do that consistently. It's just so difficult to stay in that zone for a long period of time. Bautista rifles one foul. Well, they just you just have a tendency to really trust your eyes and be able to slow things down and just. I mean, remember Barry Bonds? I, I remember him taking pitches as like he knew it was coming for. Him. Like the ball went even out of the pitcher's hand, he was already taking it as a ball. So right. guys just have Edgar a, can get like that yeah, too. I mean, they just sick. they just lock right into that release point, and for whatever reason, they're just trusting their eyes and they're they're, they're confident and they stay within themselves and don't try to do too much and. Take what the pitcher gives him. One, two to Bautista. Down low, two and two. I didn't have him very often with Muscle. Oh, mine either. I, I was like, man, you think it's easy? It was easy? a battle, man. It ain't that easy. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many times I've told Gary, is it that easy? Seriously. Well, when you got a swing like that, I guess it is. Two, two. I don't want him to get extended, does he? Bautista walked in a 3 1 pitch his first time. Payoff pitch. It's aboard again via the walk. Three walks issued by Vargas. We're in the second inning. This walk coming with two outs tomorrow. Safeco Insurance Grand Slam Family Package Night. Mariners and Blue Jays wrap up this series. Fantastic package now. $14 per person for groups of 4 to 12. You're going to get a hot dog, a Pepsi, and a ticket to the game. So take advantage. Go to Mariners.com slash specials. Here's Adam Lind. Ball one. There's a strike. One on one. 55 pitches already for Vargas. He's going to need a couple quick innings, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like four of them. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I didn't think Michael Pineda was sharp at all last night, but margin of error. I mean like Jason 86 yeah. 87 miles an hour. You don't have location your toes. Yeah he's not going to have much of a chance if he's in the middle of the plate. Michael can get away with a little bit more because he's 97 miles an hour. And he's right on top of you when he lets go. Ackley flips to Wilson to get the force from Bautista and that'll do it. For the Blue Jays second coming up for the Mariners cut. Wells and Oliva four five and six here at Tampa Field. the bottom of the second inning. Meantime, the Royals taking on the Yankees in the fourth inning. Robinson Cano in an 11-pitch at bat before going deep to right center field. The three-run shot gave the Yankees the lead. Right now, the score 9-7. It's our Sterling Savings Bank score. Back upstairs to David Mike. He's still got Jay with you, right, guys? Absolutely, Angie. Thank you. The Yankees in a slugfest with Kansas City. Here's Mike Cart by the Mariner of them all, seven for 16 his last 16. And he's got a 15 game hitting streak, best in the majors. And look at those numbers 18 RBIs over the 15 games. Club playing three games over 500 during that streak. And a little bit of offense, Jay, always helps, doesn't it? Two and one. Two and one to Carp. It's the last time he saw a guy kind of left him to coming straight over the top like this. Langston did, didn't he? Yeah.
Two and two to Carp. Oh, that got his attention. One of the things that Mike has done well is hit left handers, and it's because he stays on the breaking ball. And Mill straighten him up a little bit, see if he can open up the outside corner. 15 game hitting streak for Carp. Like it. Stick your nose back in there and get after it. Payoff pitch. Carp putting up the good fight. A lot of fastballs up in the zone. Mills coming in ERA over six. I bet you that's where his issues. I mean, look, when you come over the top like that, it's tough to get the ball down. We mentioned Langston. He always threw that high fastball to set up his curveball. And then he had that split too from over the top, that right. little cutter on your back foot. Bart Burns a leadoff walk here in the second inning. You got a 6 0 lead, you better attack the strike zone. There's Casper Wells. Ball club is nine and six since his arrival. He's got three homers in his last three games. What a big one he hit last night. Turned out to be the game winner. Car pulled one off for Trevor Miller, who was subsequently cut today by the Blue Jays. John Roush, who gave up the home run to Wells, appendicitis attack, hospitalized. Really? Yeah. Stay hot. I thought the home run that Wells hit last night was impressive. It's a good pitch. It was a good pitch. And he stayed with it. Didn't pull off of the pitch at all. No. Ball was down, stayed through, nice extension through the ball. Jumped out. The other guy's making the most of his opportunity. Hey, there's there's some of them out there. I mean, there's a, there's gonna be jobs that are open and mm -hmm. you're auditioning now for hey, Eric Wedge. It, yeah. Going into spring training, should be nice to know that you Left field is your job, or at least you're in the hunt for it. Very much so. Instead of doing the old up and down shuttle. Popped up. Aaron Sebian may have a play. He doesn't. Turn over the top of Kevin Kremen down there. Happy birthday, Kevin Kremen. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Thought maybe he would die for it. <laughs> Our radio <laughs> TV producer, a radio a producer engineer, celebrating his birthday today. Way to go, Colonel! <laughs> In the front row. Hey, he said he had the good seats for tonight. It's good to be the Beautiful king. family there. <laughs> Outside the wells, one and two. Wells here with the Mariners hitting 359 with four homers and 10 RBI. Oh, oh, he leans on this one. Deep left field. There's five. Into the bullpen, a home run for Casper Wells. Four games, four homers, and the Mariners are on the board at 6 2. I know that your pick, pick to click tomorrow is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> It's, er it's early though. It's <laughs> early. <laughs> what a screamer that one was. A little deja vu swing right there. Well, this, this just goes right to what you were talking about, Jay. A guy getting an opportunity in Detroit, an extra outfielder playing sparingly, and this is just a hanger right in the middle of the plate. That's a quick swing that right there. It's a short swing, isn't hand it? Stay inside the ball and just a little flicker with the wrists. And you're right, it jumped off that bat. I love that crispy sound. But he likes it too. Chef Jay must be cooking up good down there in that <laughs> locker room. Lebo <laughs> gets in the one. Deep left center. Go, Bob. Oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, the flick up. I like it. But just like you talked about, Mike, leave a couple of balls up. He can pay for it. You come over the top at 88 miles an hour. He's having a tough time getting the ball down. Mariners making him pay for it. And that's a pitch center cut. 
And that's a long way to hit it out there to the pen, by the way. No doubt. Yellow Olivo is 15th home run, 50th RBI. Take a look at it. Oh, oh center, over. yeah, center cut. You see the tracer that pitch right in the middle of the plate and hammered out to the pen. By the way, Jay's picked to click Miguel Olivo. 411 feet. Here's Trayvon Robinson batting right-handed for the first time here at home. I like it. a little back to back. That's solid. But two nights uh, in a row of back to back Mariner home runs. Time for this boy to go to work. Better start getting the ball down. Everything up. Take advantage of it. Ooh. Soft line drive for the first out. So a 6 3 ball game. I like it. The boys are bringing a little attitude. We ain't going to roll over and play dead for you. Came from behind last night to win a ball game, and we were talking about it. a lot of lot of game left for them to try to work with. And you have an inexperienced pitcher and Brad Mills. And all of a sudden, you have a ball game again. Toronto's seen this movie before. Remember, first time in, I believe it was game one. Mariners are down 7 nothing. Come back to win. Luis Rodriguez. Matter of fact, I think you were here that That's night, right. Jay. That's right. Uh, that Luis was, Rodriguez you know. got one at the right center field gap. Million dollar smile from Miguel Olivo. Increasing his team home run and RBI lead. Love the way he plays the game, man. He's a leader in that clubhouse. Knows when to pat a guy on the back, when to kick him in the butt. Gotta like that. 2 0 to Kyle Seeger. Aaron Seabee going after Chad. You can understand if Mills was a little rattled, giving up a two run homer and a Olivo solo shot. Both of them got blistered. The last pitch was not a bad pitch, though. Make him earn it. I like it. Young pitcher out there. Now giving up four home runs, John Farrell. Pitcher in his day. Watching it. Bumpy road of youth for Mills. A four pitch walk to Seeger, his second walk of the inning and the game. Who's Walton, the pitching coach, going out for quick chat for each home run hit by a Mariners player. Alaska Airlines donates 10,000 miles to our Make a Wish Home Runs for Wishes program. You can donate your own miles to Make a Wish at AlaskaAir.com. That Mariner power, huh? Three home runs last night, two home runs tonight. We're only in the second inning. Look at Mills coming into the game. He only pitched 15 and two thirds innings, but he had eight walks. So you feel like if you're a little bit patient, you should get into some good counts. And it's not necessarily the walks that are going to hurt him. It's the fact that these guys have a chance to get into two, two O counts, right. three and one count. And he looks like he wants to throw his fastball in those counts, a young pitcher. I like the fact the guys in the middle of the order know he's got a 6 0 lead, so they're going up there hacking. Smart, no, they're right? no, they're, yeah, no, they're going to get a heater and they're not going to miss it. Next thing you know, look at it, 6 to 3 now. There's Jack Wilson. Takes a strike. Boy, he went the full money, didn't he? There's my pass right there. <laughs> I left him tickets. <laughs> Well, those fries must be awfully good. <laughs> <You know it. laughs> oh my! <laughs> Jack Wilson coming off a nice night last night, two for three, with an RBI. Middle of a double play, and he was in the middle of a double play in the top half of the second. Put a nice job at shortstop, filling in for Andrew Brendan Ryan. He can pick it, man. I think he's made, probably, put, in my opinion, made the top play this year. That play at second base when he went across and threw from out in left field. That was oh, well, down in Texas early yeah, on the year. Was, that was yeah. unbelievable. First play. trip to Texas. Yep. Had a position and it was new to him. He wasn't That's very comfortable. Exactly right. was, Not at all. Man. Still 0 2. Sixth hitter to the plate here for the Mariners in the second inning.
Go get that stamper that says slugfest and put it right on this game. I like it. I love the home run. Keep, keep hitting them. Base coach Brumley and Brian Rungy having a conversation. I'm sure Brum wants him to clean that up a little bit. Mills is borderline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still low and two. Good old two hot right there. Playing Jack Wilson shallow and shaded towards right center. Got a no two count. Wells has hit a two run homer. Olivos hit a solo shot. Seeger holds it first. Foul ball off of Jack's foot. And he got him right on the toe. It's a good shot right there of his hands. He's out in front a little bit, but he's able to. Stop his hands and still stay loaded a little bit. Fight it off. Live another day. Most of trying to keep this inning going here. That was another one straight foul. Seeger with his lead at first. Tracking is Thames, and he's able to make the catch. It'll be two outs. Left the other Nitro coming up the annual Boeing Salute to Kids Day. It's coming up on the 28th. Of August, that's a Sunday when the Mariners and the White Sox get together at 1 10 p.m. All kids 14 and under take home a Felix Hernandez t shirt plus youngsters 6 to 14. You can enter at any Mariners team store for honorary ballpark jobs that day. Get your tickets to salute the kids day. Go to Mariners.com slash tickets. Seeger the runner at first. Each row. Bouncing ball to the second baseman Aaron Hill throws him out. That'll do it for the Mariners. Good inning though. Two run homer by Wells. His fourth in four games. Olivo goes back to back. Mariners back in this ball game. Six to three. It's a little bit of a comeback for the Mariners to get back in this game with a three run spot in the second inning. Six three ball game now. So we start the third. Edwin and Carnacion, Colby Rasmus, Brett Laurie. I like your thinking. Comeback. I like that one. Absolutely. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Jay Buner with us tonight. Well, we've seen some power ball for two winnings, huh? It continues. And Capper by Carnacion all the way to the fence. He's in at second with a double second time he's been on first time was on a walk that's his 30th double that's a team leader time for at and trivia question which total is higher is today's the day that Babe Ruth died in 1948 at age 53 Elvis died in 1977 at age 42 Babe Ruth's major league home run to, uh, totals or Elvis Presley's songs that he recorded Babe hit 714. I'm going with B. Elvis. With all the movies he did. Man. This one popped up. Playable for Jack Wilson. Wow. Still, I'm, I'm going to go with B. That's a lot of. Them. Elvis, did, I know Elvis forget, is, is the king, but come on. Don't, don't a, forget, he did a lot of religious recordings, too. He did many, many a religious album. I'm sticking. 
right. 714 songs. Well, that's that's a lot. I agree. I'm hearing you, but I'm still, and I'm just, I don't know it for a fact. I, I don't know it for a fact, but I just, just my gut is it's telling me that it's Elvis. Thank you very much. My gut's telling me I'm hungry. <laughs> Need something to eat up here. Come on, don't they give you guys anything to eat up here? No, that just that's over on the radio. You side. guys are big shots, no, man. That's Come Rick, on, that's Rick Riz on the radio side. Yeah. Rick, Ricky, Ricky is well, taking care of. Well, Kev, he's in the diamond seats. He's getting all sorts of free <laughs> stuff down there. <laughs> Brett Laurie. He kid takes not, a healthy he cut. He cheated, does he? No, he does not. I like his first at bat. Got a base hit, and he was halfway to second base and threw on the brakes. You, you gotta like that in young kids. Play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. Man. A lot of Canadian fans here for this young man from British Columbia. So Incarnacion at second leadoff double. That's six hits for Toronto. Just across the border, Langley, British Columbia, just across the border from London. All two strikes. Butterfield third base coach. Butters, that was one of my coaches yeah, when with I the first Yankees. came up. The, yeah, oh, the, the Yankees, Yankees man. Yeah. Yeah. Great guy. Great baseball guy. Remember last time they were here, he almost got hit. He's staying way foul and deep and foul. Somebody must have made a really good catch from our head. Let's see. Hey, nice job, wow. Alan Ashby. Way to go, Ash. Former catcher. Show Houston. off. <laughs> and he still, and he still <laughs> framed. You notice how he still framed it? Yeah, right. He got a call. Ackley charging. Look at that kid. Throws right. him out. I like it. Two outs. Good hustle. Moving to third. It's Incarnacion. You're right, he framed it. <laughs> he was a good catcher. And so is Buck Martinez. Houston Astros. Yeah, with uh, for Ash. Mm -hmm. Played Buck. with Jose Cruz. We had a Jose Cruz club in my high school, my senior. That's right. You're from Texas, sure. Yes, sir. If one comes up here, I'll just wait for it to stop rolling around. Hey Amen, pal. That's I'm exactly right. I'm, anything. I'm with them. <laughs> I'm out. I'm taking <laughs> He gone. <laughs> Aaron Hill. We were in homers last time up here. I might take the euchre, the euchre method. You how'd you stop a knuckleball? Wait till it gets to the backstop and it stops rolling. That's it. It's a funny man. Oh, but you and the boys are having some success in Milwaukee this year. Two and zero here to Hill. Hit a sixth home run. Picked up his 43rd RBI. Fouls one off. First time Lou came to me and asked me if I could play left field, and of course I lied and said yes. <laughs> right. So I go to Jay before the game and I said, Jay, you have any advice for me? I never been out there. He goes, Yeah. Put the wall on your back. If it's overhead, you ain't getting it anyways. <laughs> so that's what I did. My heels were on the warning track the entire game. Like Pretty it. easy that way, isn't it? <laughs> it wasn't bad. Keep it in front. Put the wall on your back. I like it. <laughs> Three and one to Hill. You pretty much played everywhere. What position didn't you play? I didn't play center field. And you didn't pitch. Soccer with my speed. You would have thought I'd have an opportunity to do that. Um, I didn't pitch. And I didn't play second base. It's pretty good. Not bad. You could have pitched. You got a cannon. You could have got a mop-up roll. I might have been able to mix in an inning. And Why not? That big would have been the end of it, though. Surgery, you get that scheduled. Big pitch from Vargas, and this one fouled away. I know. It's something about 
going out and trying to do something different you're not accustomed to doing being a creature of habit. I remember the couple of games I played at first base. I've never been so sore in my life. And you get out of your element a little bit. You kind of get caught up in the moment and the adrenaline going. And the next thing you know, the next day, you definitely pay the price. Mm -hmm. it sure is fun while it lasts. It comes at 3 2 to Hill, runner at third. Should have had you show up to spring training with me. Catchers and pitchers and put the gear oh, yeah. on. Yeah, do I want to go, do I wanna go down an extra two weeks early and get even sore. <laughs> do that. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> nope, I didn't know how to put down the right finger. That was one position I never played. 75th pitch coming up. Payoff. Swing. This oh, big what? strikeout. So after a leadoff double, no harm. Done as we take a look at sunset over the Olympics. It's a 6 3 Toronto lead as we head to the home third. To the bottom of the third inning here at Safeco Field. Gutierrez, is Ackley and Carp coming up. Gutierrez will lead it off. Struck out on a 2 2 pitch his first time up. A couple home runs. Second night in a row, the Mariners have gone back to back home runs. Wells and Olivo tonight. That was in the second. Brad Mills over the top left hander. Giving up three runs on two hits. Rough first inning for Jason Vargas, giving up six runs on four hits, but since then, the last two innings, no runs, two hits given up. I thought that was a solid effort last night. He gives up a leadoff double. Not, not to give up another run. Shutter. Yeah. Have to keep the score where it's at. Give you guys a chance. They cut the deficit in half so far for him. Two to Franklin. One thing's for sure. You know he wants the ball. That's the great thing about him. So he settles in. He'll stretch it out. Be a nice challenge for him. See if he can get the seven. <laughs> One two to Goody. Popped it up. Lynn giving chase along with Aaron Sepia. What a pretty one. Baseball game, comfortable night, can't beat it. One and two to Gutierrez. You know, three strikeout for Mills. One down, eight, two, 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 big question. Let's revisit, shall we? What's is the higher total? Babe Ruth's homers or Elvis's songs that he recorded? I went with Elvis. Close. Fans went with me. The guys went with Babe Ruth. Survey says Babe Ruth by three. How about that? By three. Had it Told all the wow. way. Told you he recorded a lot. Huh. Who the thunk? I still thought it was going to be more than the 714. Dustin Ackley. Only the Beatles have sold more records worldwide than Tesla. Fire in the left field. Base hit for Ackley. Thames gets it back in. A one out base runner. No advancement here as that ball gets away. Nice job by Ackley. Pick up a base hit. Dustin has shown the ability to use all the fields. Not just a full header. He'll spray it around. That's why he has his average anywhere from 290 to 300 consistently since he's been called up. He likes those gaps, doesn't he? He's he does. a gap. Well, he's done gap a good man. job. Five triples. Right. Yeah. He's going opposite field. We were talking about this before the game. Ackley, Carp, and Robinson, when he's a left hand hitter, they've all done a great job shooting the ball. Wow, a ball up the middle. Oh, man, my Carp. Shot Hitting God. streak to 16. Oops. Did he barrel out or what? Almost another Justin Smoke right there. Boy, I don't know if he can hit a ball any harder. That was something. 
16 game hitting streak. They so dialed in. He takes a hack. But when you're going as good as he is, his balance is really good, isn't it? Oh, it is. He just looks squishy. Yeah. Lefties up there for whatever reason always look like they're on everything anyway, but he's not missing. Well, here's here's Wells with a couple of men on a one-two count. He hit a two-run homer to deep left center field into the bullpen last time up. Then Olivo followed with with one as well. So Wells at the plate representing the tying run. About Wells last time up three games three homers now four games four homers. No doubt about it. Casper Wells. Really. Swinging a bat here for the Mariners that's his ninth home run on the season. A little Aaron Wall to Popped up. Shortstop takes it. Escobar. Makes a fly roll in effect. Two outs. Two outs, two on. Larry Fernandez. That legend, it continues to grow. And now it's grown into its own seven inch bobblehead. Saturday, August 27th, Mariners and White Sox will be playing. First 20,000 fans get to take over one of the kind Larry Fernandez bobblehead. It's thanks to Root Sports. Get your tickets at mariners.com slash tickets. That's a great commercial too. Isn't it? He does a good job. Good campaign. Two outs, two on for Olivo. Is that Copacino again behind all that? I it is. They do. Probably. They do a great job. Great group of guys. Fifteenth homer, fiftieth RBI for Miguel his last time up. He's coming right on the heels of Wells home run. Full extension, hey? Traveled a long ways out into the pen. And somebody's beer out there in the <laughs> It's a casualty. <laughs> Two nights in a row now for the Mariners with back to back home runs. Okay. Absolutely. Tie this thing up right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like it. Three and one. Last time the Mariners had two days of back to back home runs. May 13 and 14 of 05. Richie Sexton and Raul Abanez. Always like that 3 0 free swing, man. What yeah. the heck? Dial yeah. it in. Come to Why Papa. not? Come to Pop, especially on the lefty. Three and one, uh, Olivo, two out, two on. There's a strike. Makes it a full count. A pitch right there. A cambio. And here, Tim McClellan's that strike. So Ackley and Carp are the runners. They'll be on the move. Let's see Carp carrying the mail right here from first. Three, two. Up high, bases loaded. First walk for Olivo since June 26th. It's the third walk issued tonight by Mills, and they are loaded up for Trayvon Robinson in the second at bat as a right hand hitter here at Safeco Field. He represents the lead run at the plate. Trayvon lined out to the pitcher his first time up. Three hits for him last night. It's a strike. Mike is up to 250 now. Slowly climbing it up. Yep, started the game at 259. It's nice to know when you're going to be out there every day and get a chance to play, isn't it? Makes a big difference. Oh, heck yeah. 0 1 to Robinson, bases loaded. 
Get the left field. Thames coming on. Can't get it. Ackley scores. Carp right behind him. Trayvon Robinson. Nice. Two run single, and it's a six to five ball game. Thing of beauty right there. A flare be for Trayvon gets him up to four on the season. Looks like it gets in on his hands a little bit. But he fights it off and dumps it in the left field to pick up a couple of RBIs and gets the Mariners within a run. Olivo down to second. So now you got Robinson at first, Olivo at second, Kyle Seeger the hitter. He walked on four pitches his first time. That's a ball game. Both teams have seen the bottom half of their order driving all the runs. Dying run at second, lead run at first. Oh, and two here to Seeger. Sixty five pitches now for Mills and nobody throwing in the Blue Jays bullpen. Going oh to the Seeger with a couple of men on. Mariners down a run pitch. Slapped in the left. Thames towards the line. Got a good jump. Can't get it. Base hit. Comes home. Robinson just gets in the third. In the second goes Seeger. The Mariners have battled back from down 6 0. They're tied at 6 6 here in the third. RBI for Seeger. It's his first as a big leaguer. Has a couple of strikes on him and just fights his pitch off down the line. It looked like Thames. Had a chance to catch it as he comes diving in. A couple of outs, all the runners moving. I'll tell you what, he does a nice job of smothering this thing so it doesn't get by him. East seven will get Seeger into second base. We said Toronto's seen this before here in this building. First time in, down seven, nothing. Wound up losing on a Luis Rodriguez base hit in the ninth. Well, that got some action in the bullpen. They get Perry up throwing quickly. Luis Perez. Tie ball game. Lead run at third. Here's Jack Wilson. Wilson has been aggressive hit good at bat. First time in the second inning. Flat out to left, but he fouled the four pitches straight back. Both clubs with six hits and six runs. How about that? That's the other thing that's made a difference for the Mariners: the extra base hits that they've been getting. They went through a long stretch where. On six hits, they were lucky to get a run. Station to station. Station to station. They had to bunch their hits together, but extra base hits make a huge difference. And over the last week, week and a half, they've gotten their share of them. We mentioned hitting 286 in the month of August coming into tonight. Just, a, just aggressive. Yeah. That's the thing. They're up there hacking. Something that Eric get Wedge and Chris Chambliss have been talking about. Look to do some damage. Exactly. Throw it, find a pitch that you like and then turn it loose. Go up there and hit with an attitude, man. Right. And if you get that fastball, you talk about it all the, all the time, Mike, and so does Wedge. You get a fastball, you got to do something with it. What was it? The Holland kid threw fastballs like crazy here. Last time Texas was in. That will be smothered by Encarnacion. Flips over and gets him. Jack Wilson really angry with himself. He wanted a base hit. But a good inning for the Mariners. They get three on the board. 
Two from Trayvon Robinson and Kyle Seeger's first big league RBI. After three, it's tied at 6-6. Now the half a dozen, they've tied it. Right now, let's take a look at the Mariners calendar. It's being brought to you by Sleep Country USA. Wrap up this series and the season series with Toronto tomorrow. Day off, it'll be a travel day to Tampa Bay. Go to Tampa St. Pete. And then four games in Cleveland before we come home to wrap up the month with the White Sox and the Angels. It's a short little flight down to Tampa Bay. Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wouldn't Whee! be right if we didn't go to Cleveland late in the season and have a day night double header. Yeah, stay hot. Yeah. I, I share your excitement. That always work. I, I share your excitement, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> One and oh, they count here to JP Aaron Sebia, the catcher out of the nine hole. But Jason Vargas snowed under the first inning. Now he's back in the game. He can stay out there for a couple more innings. He might get a win. Ah, uh -huh. vulture. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to vulture a win. Whatever it takes, right? <laughs> He's behind though, three and out there at CBA. JP flat out to center his first time. It's nice to know now, tail of two seasons, it seems like, to know that you're going to get some run support now. Oh. That has got to be, I mean, for the whole club. Oh, We're yeah. never out of it, you know? Yeah. Now, well, if you do make a mistake, you still got a chance. That's all I ask is you look at Escobar, the on deck hitter. Three and two now there at CBA. Aaron Sibia Escobar in themes here in the fourth. Vargas with one strikeout. He's walked three. Struck him out. Aaron Sibia is gone. That's back to back strikeouts now. So Vargas, one out here in the fourth. Top of the order, and Yunel Escobar, the shortstop, already is third at bat. We're in the fourth inning. Toronto in the first inning sent nine men to the plate, got six runs on four hits. Did not go. This is Brian Ruggie. It was a great play by Escobar to end the Mariners' third inning, taking a hit away from Jack Wilson. To center field backing up Gutierrez. That thing was smoked. Two outs. Out of his back pocket. We well, got halfway down the first baseline. We'll take a look at our CenturyLink high speed pitch. With the men into the 90s. There's rookie Eric Thames now. Thames with a base hit to right. And bounced into a double play. The left field backing up Robinson. Turn him around and makes the catch. One, two, three inning. Nice job by Vargas. Six in a row retired. <laughs> Home fourth coming up. It'll be the top of the order. Ito Gutierrez and Ackley. New ball game in the bottom of the fourth inning. We're all tied up. Meantime, Boston with a double dip today, hosting the Rays in game two of that double dip. Eric Bedard on the mound. Desmond Jennings steps up in the fifth, rips a solo shot off of Bedard. That's way over the monster. His fifth of the season, and it's the final six to two. The Red Sox fall back upstairs to you, Dave. All right, Angie, thank you. 6-6 six, six ball game. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Top of the order for the Mariners. Great job coming back after being down 6 nothing after a half inning. Mariners get three on the board in the second and duplicate that number in the third. Wells and Olivo go back to back homers in the second. Javon Robinson first time. At home, hitting right handed delivers a two run single, and Kyle Seeger gets his first major league RBI with a base hit to left, and that tied it up. Here's Ichiro, fouled out the third, grounded out the second. They're busy with those markers over there, hey, man. You got a lot of action going Technicolor, on. Technicolor, baby. Way to stay on top of it. That's why That's you it. get paid the big bucks, bud. Oh, Mills is out. Another left hander comes in. We look at Luis Perez. 
Something tells me it throws 95. <laughs> First <laughs> contrast, right? <laughs> he was getting loose with 92 on that first pitch. And there's 93 working his way up there. Right? You look at the numbers for Mills tonight 70 pitches for him, three strikeouts, three walks, six runs, all of them earned. That's, on almost, six that's almost like his last start, almost identical numbers. Numbers for Perez, a 386 ERA, 39 and two thirds innings pitch for him, 34 strikeouts to just 13 walks. Opponents average 277 off of Perez. Each row in an 0 2 hole. Second time each row's grounded out. To Hill, beg your pardon. Hill throwing the one. One out here in the fourth. Luis Perez, born in Guayaquil, Dominican Republic, lives in Monte Cristi, in the Dominican. Six foot one sixty. First year in the bigs. Undrafted free agent signee, July of 03 by these Blue Jays. Franklin Gutierrez, the hitter, he struck out twice today. Two hopper down to Laurie. Two outs. See down here in the fourth and multiple sclerosis that stops people from moving. The National MS Society's bike MS ride presented by Point B is turning moving into a movement. Accept the challenge and join us for the best supported two day bike ride in the Northwest on September 10th and 11th. Register online at bikemsnorthwest.org. Justin Ackley, base hit the left his last time. He scored. On the Robinson RBI single. It's also struck out one for two. Outside. Stays in there on those lefties good, doesn't he? Nice soft front foot on his take. He, he and Carp both. They yeah. both do, yeah. They stick their belly button up on the plate and go to hacking, man. Exactly 255 hitter against left handers and Carp 379 entering tonight. Carp's on deck. Going to Ackley, three and one. Trying to get aggressive here, three and one. Pitches way outside. The ball four brings up Mike Carp, two out, one on. Carp on the season has six home runs, three against left handers. Not two of the three were on 0 2 pitches. The one that hit the dead center field in Arlington oh, was on an 0 2 pitch. One into the grass? Yeah. And then last night's on an 0 2 pitch. That's when you know you're seeing it right there. Yeah. Man. They make a mistake and just hammer it. Like one to cut. He hit the center and it was a bullet. He scored twice, extended his hitting streak to 16, best in the majors. Texas 5 1 at LA at Anaheim in the fifth inning. Green ball for strike.
So here's your 0-2 captain Carp with the man on, two outs. Struck him out. The Mariners are going here in the fourth. Still locked up at 6-6. Six, six. This is brought to you by AT&T. By Money Tree, looking for a loan with four time to repay. Apply for a Money Tree payday loan online at MoneyTreeINC.com. By Jeep, we don't just make SUVs, we make history. And by Budweiser, official beer, the thirst inning. Great times are on deck. Grab some buds. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and Jay Buners. We enjoy a gorgeous view from West Seattle looking at downtown. Jason Vargas. Pretty much took a standing eight count in the first inning. It's all right. And the boys Kept got him up. back. He bounced back, though. That's it. Came out for the bell. Bautista, one one. He's been awfully careful, Mr. Bautista. Can't say that I blame him. He's walking twice. Two one. Boy, see what you got. Nothing. Two two. A couple of cutters inside. What do you think? Change up here. That's what he did last time. Uh, I don't think he gives in to him. Why would you? Adam Lind on deck. Payoff back pitch. Inside. Oh. Oh. Third time. Bautista is trying to walk. Oh. Good pitch, cutter on the inside corner, and didn't get the call. Thought it was where across the plate. Come on, come on, Tim. Give it to our guy. Six runs, six hits, an error for Toronto. Six runs, six hits, no errors for the Mariners. Mariners return one double plate. Two would be good right here. Strike one, Adam Lynn. So for two. Right, I'll the back safely. Base coach Tori Lovolo. Tori down there, huh? Ran for a little bit. Good guy. Batista with the lead out to the count. Base hit. Batista will hold it second. Wilhelmson up in the Mariners pen. I'll bring out Eric Wedge. He's not even going to wait. A solid line drive into right field. Go get him right now. Tom Wilhelmson picked up his first major league win last night. Getting an early call here in the fifth. Couple of men on in a 6 6 ball game. from uh, the greater Phoenix area who's back on a second stint with the ball club got his first major league win last night he talked about it after the game last evening or Geico quote feels good you know feels real good I'm waiting a while for it you know I felt real good I threw a pen earlier today and uh, I felt real good leaving the pen and you know my, my time came and I was able to throw strikes and get out and get our guys back in to uh, do what they do you know Cortez came in shut the door and and uh, and then I was able to get in and get out, and then we got a couple runs, and league does what he does, and you know dominates. Tom Wilhelmson last night threw a one-two-three eighth, a couple of ground balls and a flyout, and in the bottom of the eighth, the Mariners got back-to-back -back home runs from Carp and Wells to put the game on ice. How about that, a bartender, huh? Isn't that great, a bartender to get in your first major league win. Yeah. I guess that helps when you're throwing 97, Seven, which is what he was doing last night. First batter. He's got a nasty hook too. 
Edwin he's Encarnacion. Sorry to step on your toes, there, Doug, but he's got he's got nasty stuff. Man. That's a great. You always love a story like that. Some kid coming out of nowhere. Yeah, it's with Jack Zarensic and company had seen him be had had him before. He's been out of baseball oh, full time. Time. I like it. I like it. Mike and I were talking about this earlier. Open that plate up, man. There Nobody go. pitches inside anymore. And when you get your, you know, handed to you and guys are back legging you, I don't see anybody getting dusted anymore. What are you talking about? You just saw. Yeah, but that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> you know, what you know what I'm talking about. He took an undressing, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Two and oh. Two men on, nobody out. Look out! Look at the bat. That is quality. That's that's, that's a good throw. That there. Yeah. That's the winner. That is the clubhouse leader right now. Measure that one. Tomorrow, you guys got to come out and get the tape out on that. <laughs> that's the longest cuss through one. Put, on a, the put right an side. X out there. <laughs> Junior put the, the boys tape. <laughs> yeah. That's the longest throw of the year. That's impressive right there. Look. At least you know you're staying through the ball. You didn't hook it into the stands. And I like how the boys played Eddie Money's baby hold on to me. After the bat was thrown. Nice. Good touch here in the ballpark. 2-1. Did you ever do that? Get in a cage and just try to throw the bat down? Yeah, that was a drill. The cage? That's a drill I used to. Yeah, because sometimes I get out and around the ball in order to help me get that slot, kind of the slot drill. I try to throw the bat back up in the middle. More at a down angle, though, not to, to the back of the net. I wanted to kind of go down towards right. the bottom of the net. But I would do that with the Frisbee, too. And that's a lot of the same drills that uh, a lot of the kids are doing right now with the 16-year-old team. And some of the softball coaches out there and various coaches out there, it's a great drill. It's like the knob of the bat drill with the front soft toss. I was I, I was amazed how difficult it was to do it. The first time that I, that I ever tried it was I was it's not easy. playing in Tampa against the Rays, struggling. Payoff pitch. Look at that again. Man. Oh my make goodness, Seeger. Come on, make the play. And then Olivo, he got hit by the foul ball. Holy mackerel, what a. Capitalist and Olivo's really hurt. Yeah, I didn't see what happened to Olivo because I was, was watching the, the bat, but take a look Miguel. at it. Ooh, oh, right on the chin. Wow. And it's Seeger and the third base umpire, Corey Blazer, getting out of dodge. Is it every game that we see Miguel take a shot? It's unbelievable. Yeah, Eric Wedge laughing now. There's one catcher to another. Yeah. But Matt Stairs took me in there and, and told me the same thing, getting around the ball. Right. And the first couple times, I mean, it, it was like throwing it at the on deck circle. Mm -hmm. And it made a difference. You get a real good feel for the bat and throwing the barrel down the line. Plus, you got to be soft to the front side in order to get everything to work together. It's a great drill. Yeah. Rob Nodine, assistant trainer out with Olivo as he tries to walk it off. Boy, that's that some is, shot. Yeah. Another drill is going out and trying to hit a fungo, too. You'll be amazed at how many people cannot hit a fungo. I think it's easy. Just throw it up and hit it. And you ain't, you're not it's staying, not that easy? No, man. If you're not staying through the ball, you just roll over Beethoven man, all day long, smother. Well, he must be okay because... Olivo was smiling. Eric Wedge was smiling. I give him a chance to catch a couple, shake those cobwebs. Well, you, you do drills. I think it was off the tee with the phone. Or was it soft yeah. toss drills? It was front soft toss with Uncle Lee Lee, Lee our hitting coach. And, and why did you do that? Why just, did you use a fungo? Just because it made me feel like I had unbelievable bat speed and coverage, and and it made me slow down because there was no room for error. If you hit one bad with the fungo, you're picking up another fungo. Right. So it just it just really it just made me stay soft. I couldn't overswing, and, but mainly it was just to feel that bat speed and, and feel the ball jump because the ball jumps off that fungo. That's all the stuff that most people don't get a chance to see. They just think these guys come out to take BP on the field. All that stuff's happening in the cages. Three two pitch. Walk team bases are loaded with nobody out. Going to bring up Colby Rasmus. He's already done damage with the bases loaded back in the first. With a double to right. Wilhelmson walks his first batter. World of trouble now for the Mariners. Nobody out. Bases loaded. Get 
gets away. And that'll get a run. Seven Goes six. into the dugout. Scoring is Bautista. Everybody else moved up. Wild pitch. I'll say there's not much you can do as a catcher when somebody spikes a 96 mile an hour fastball. You expect some of the breaking balls or change ups to be in the dirt but. Not a fastball when you're throwing 96 97 miles an hour you don't have much chance to get in front of it. And you get blocked out by the left handed hitter too. 7 6 Toronto still nobody out 1 0 pitch to Rasmus. 2 and 0. Adam Linded third and Carnacion at second. Back to and one. Three run double. It's right field by Rasmus, his first time up, second time up. Popped up to Jack Wilson of shortstop. Mariner pitchers tonight, five walks for them, three of them have scored. It's not a good percentage, is it? No. 2 1. Speed pitch, foul off. I think he got drilled again, man. I want to be a catcher, huh? Mm. No, I don't. No, me either. They earn their keep. He's a gamer. There's no doubt about that. Two and two here to Rasmus. Breaking ball, and it is fouled. I think he ended up with another one there. Three in a row. Miguel Olivo has worn one. <laughs> Take well, the target off, huh? Really? Two two pitch. Pretty well struck. Center field. Gutierrez getting behind it. Runner at third is Adam Lynn. Here's a throw home. It is cut off by Carp. 8 6 Toronto. Fourth RBI of the night for Rasmus on the sack fly. That's his first. It's coming over to, to the Blue Jays. That's the first out. Bring up Brett Lowry. RBI single and a ground out tonight. Let's go, Brett. Come on, bud. Go for lightning, bud. Top of the fifth. This looks like double figures is going to win this game tonight. Chudo. He was sharp last night. He is not sharp tonight. Sixteen pitches, nine balls, seven strikes. The only thing he's got over has been his off-speed pitch. Yeah. Well, he threw nine pitches last night. 3-0. There's a strike. 3-1. Ball four. That wasn't close. Wilhelmson. Three batters, two walks. Sandwich in between the sacrifice fly. Well, right now, Eric Wedge is going to leave it up to him. Nobody throwing in the Mariners' pen. Don't want to burn out the bullpen. No. Well, getting the call now. Shows you what we know. 
David Navarro down there. Going to get Aaron Laffey up second, maybe the third time. Carl Willis coming out to buy some time. Twenty three thousand eighty nine on hand. What a contrast from last night when Will helps him. Was in control. And pitched a one two three eighth inning. Different story here tonight a walk sack place fly and a walk. Aaron Laffey warming up. One out. Mariners have a chance to get a double play and get out of this thing from Aaron Hill, but Aaron Hill's shown some pop here tonight, hitting a sixth home run. Two run shot in the first off of Jason Vargas. That one gets through Olivo. The stands. Another wild pitch. Runners at second and third now. It's another fastball that he spikes 95 miles an hour this time. A couple of wild pitches here and costly. Eight six ball game. Mariners are going to have to fight their way out of a hole again. One one. Breaking ball. In there. Strike two. Two pitch to Hill. And deep to left. Robinson going back. He's got a track. He's on the track. Makes the catch. Scoring easily as Incarnacion. 9 6 to run to. RBI Hill, his third of the night, 44th of the year. Wild pitches costing Will Helmson. And when they're fastballs, it's on the pitcher. You can't you can't expect a catcher to block pitches like that. Our good friend Roger Hanson, remember Roger? Roger, when it, Buck. Yeah, he, that's what he said to me all the time. And on the button by Aaron Sebia coming around as Laurie. Throw by Robinson, not in time. Throw to second. Is safe. Missed it. Drop the ball. A good aggressive base running by GP Aaron Sebia. It was a tough throw to handle for Ackley. I think with Seeger when he got it, there's no reason for him to bounce it unless he didn't have a good grip on it. And you take a look at the slide. He has it. His glove is open. You can see him trying to fight back there and he just pins it and rolls the ball right out the back of his glove. It's a good slide by Aaron Sebia. I think if he would be able to catch the ball in the air he could have his glove turned the other yeah, way. Smack, smack it down. Get it out. How about the bottom half of the order for the Blue Jays? They are really rampaging. And we'll discuss that when we come back. A 10 6 Toronto lead. There's 10 6 the lead now. As the Blue Jays will be sending their eighth hitter to the plate here in the fifth inning. Aaron Laffey, the third Mariner pitcher. Aaron's number ERA to 348. 41 in the third innings for him. 24 strikeouts to 15 walks. Opponents average 296. Aaron, he'd gone the first three months and was just dealing out of the pen, and then he went through a rough stretch a couple of weeks there, and that's why his numbers are up where they're at. For the longest time, his ERA was around a 1.7. It looks like Rob Nodine. He's working on his finger or his glove. 
That was a couple of minutes ago. I saw the spike go into his glove. That's what finger. his index yeah. finger hanging out. Yeah. A little spike mark. Back to live action. Two outs. Runner at second is Aaron Sebia. Junel Escobar, the leadoff man, his fourth plate appearance here. And this is what happened to, to Ackman. A little blood on the finger. Battle scar on the glove, too. I like it. Is that a play? I wonder if he'll go on the DL for that. These young guys, no <laughs> chance. <laughs> you want that second base spot, baby? <laughs> no chance. Four runs here in the fifth by Toronto. Two outs. 0 2 to Escobar with a runner at second. Bottom of the order. Runner uh, position six through nine. Rasmus has driven in four. He's batting six in the seven hole. Laurie's driven in a run. Three for Hill in the eight hole, and Aaron Sebi is driven in a run. One and two. are going to have to fight their way back. They were down six nothing after one tied it in a third after getting two in a second. Three in a second and three in a third tied a score up. Foul ball. Now Toronto's exploded for four more here in the fifth. Laffy trying to put an end to the damage here in the fifth. Keeping his pitches down, everything down in the zone. Trying to get a ground ball and get off the field. One, two. Jack Wilson stays with it, stumbles, throws. That's a heck of a play by Carp. Second night in a row, we've seen him do a nice split out there to come up with a very important out. Eight men to the plate. Toronto scores four times, and they blow it up into a 10 6 lead. But the Mariners here as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning and rally fried times. Could really use them now. All the way from Idaho. Rally for ice. seven and a half hours from Caldwell, Idaho. This family shows up and the kids are here with their first Mariner games at their first Mariner games. Because they took care of all their schoolwork and what did they want? They wanted to come to the Mariners. So Pops put them in the car seven and a half hours later. There they are. Are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> kids, Jacob, Aubrey, and Justice. <laughs> are we there yet? Many times you've heard that. Here's Casper Wells. One for two in the home run. And they're going to chow down. There's a strike called against Wells. 0 and 2. Luis Perez continues. Came on in the fourth inning. We started Brad Mills. Strike three called. Quick dismissal of Wells here in the fifth. That was jelly. Back to back strikeouts with Luis Perez. They bring up Miguel Oliva. Rangers pouring it on the Angels. 7 1 in the sixth. Josh Hamilton three for four. They any good? Two runs scored in an RBI. Michael Young, three for three, two runs, three RBIs. But that guy, Mr. Everything. Okay, we want you to DH this year. Okay. Now he's playing third with Beltre on the DL. 
I mean, what a luxury to have, huh? Yeah. Like one to leave him. And you know Beltre has got to be hurt because he don't come out of the lineup. Exactly. No way. He's having a good year for the Rangers, too. Hammy. Yeah, he keeps pulling that hammy, man. Tried to play through it and came back too soon. It's amazing what that heat will do, keep you out there because you feel loose. And then... That about covers it. Olivo behind 0 and 2. Toronto in the first inning sent nine minutes of the plate, six runs on four hits. Fifth inning sent eight minutes of the plate, four runs on two hits. Gone. Rest down to slider. That's pretty nasty right yeah. there. Yep. Three straight strikeouts now for Perez. A split? I think it was a split. Yeah, yeah. he's digging into his glove right there. I want to send our best to Neil Stover. Interned with us here this summer, head basketball manager at Washington State's going back to school. Good luck to you, Neil. Javon Robinson gets into one deep to left. Things yeah. going back. Can't make the catch. Robinson in the second. And he'll hold there. With Trayvon Robinson having a good night. Two run single in the third. And a two out double here in the fifth. Goodness for padded balls, huh? We've seen a lot of Trayvon hitting left handed but right handed gets a pitch in the middle of the plate aggressive to watch a Perez get ahead of the guys with fastballs and then go into his off speed pitches. He jumps on a first pitch fastball that hits the fence. It's good hit right there two quick outs. Ames banged into the wall last night. We want to thank Neil Stover for all the work he's done for the quick instantaneous. Information grab that he's been able to do for us during the course of the summer. Hey, how many times? When was the last time the Mariners went back to back? Neil Home scrambling. runs. He's scrambling. There we go. <laughs> good job, Neil. Yep. Good to have you with us. Yeah, good luck. Kyle Seeger, last time up. RBI single to left, his first major league RBI. Give the Mariners a 6 6 ball game. Two note count for Kyle Seeger. Oh, Close it by Aaron Hill. That'll score Robinson easily. 10 7 ball game. Two RBIs tonight for Kyle Seeger. And a hit in the count 2 0 and delivered. Two out lightning right there, Michael. I like it. It's been fun watching all these young guys. You look at this game tonight, the young guys right in the middle of all of it. Ackley, Carp, Wells, Robinson, and now Seeger with his second base hit. A couple of RBIs. Both teams to the bottom of the order been stepping up. Yes, they have. Spots five through eight have accounted for the Mariner runs. Two uh, two RBIs for Wells, one for Olivo, two for Robinson, and two for Seeger. The color just continues over there on your book, man. <laughs> How do you keep up with all that? Trial and error from so years you learn ago. learn something new every day. Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Trial and error, my man. Aaron CB, a quick word now with his pitcher Perez. Started for Brad Mills. John Farrell started with just three innings, six hits, six runs, six earned runs. Perez got a quick two outs. He's given up a double and a single. Wilson, he finds a whole base hit. Seager will hold at second. Well, these Mariners are battling back. Oh, he's swinging a hot bat too. Got robbed his last time up. Mariners came in over their last three wins. 
hitting 298 for the month, hitting 286. Shoots it through the right side of the infield. The Mariners now with nine hits in the game. <laughs> tell you, if Hill would have came up with that one, somebody would have been a little upset right there. <laughs> the last one. Yes, Michael. Very nice with the rally flies. I like it. You're good. Take care of it. You're the man. All for me too, huh? That's right. And, so the, the, and I and I will crush every bit of this. The old Dave, pro, keep, the old, Dave, keep Dave Valley away the, right now. The problem is, is Jay is still a little flat right here. If you're going to be up here in the booth with us, we got to fatten you up, man. Yeah, Otherwise, right. it just doesn't look right. Well, thank you. I'll work on Mix it right the burger now. Too. I know you can I'll crush bring it up. Stuff. I'll crush that too. Bring it on. You guys got some pull around here. Yes, I knew I could. Pretty keep good. You They're hot too. I like yeah. it. Oh, yeah. they're solid. Pull a couple for between innings here. Mm. Nice. Nicholas between innings. This is crushing out. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Two and oh is the count. Itra looking to get on the hit parade. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Two out, fun attempt. Can he beat it out? No. Inning over. Perez bounced off that mound, didn't he? he? Did a nice job, but some nice hitting by Robinson and Seeger. Get a run on the board, it's 10 7. Six inning. Hi, friends. Andrew Menti here at the Northwest Sports Sports Desk. The good news is everybody here at Safeco Field, I don't think, is going to run into any traffic. Sounders traffic because they're already done across the street. Sounders taking on uh, the team from Guatemala, Comunicaciones, in the 61st minute. Freddie Montero puts a beautiful ball into Mike Fashida, who takes a touch and fires a strike to the far post. Fashida would add another one. The Sounders win 4-1. to one. Dave, I know you're worried about getting out of the garage. You're going to be fine, honey. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that. I got caught in soccer traffic the other day. Thank you, Angie. That was very nice. Say that again three times, Angie, real quick. <laughs> Impressed. <laughs> Two, three, and four coming up here for the Blue Jays in the sixth. New catcher is Josh Bard. And Miguel Olivo took more than enough punishment tonight behind three the Three in a row. Three pitches in a row. There's Thames fouling one off. Thames, Bautista, and Lynn here in the sixth. Mariners get a run on three hits, leave a couple in the fifth. 10-7 ball game. Park can't get it. Base hit. Teams. This is two hits. hitting barrage tonight by both teams, huh? We're gonna run out of outs. One team here before too long. Kid's got a nice open swing. It does. Right, here comes Bautista. He's walked three times, twice he scored. Major League home run leader. He led the majors in that category a year ago with 54. Josh Bard, the new catcher. He only got three since the All Star break, though, huh? But still, that's 34. It's not a bad number to be yeah. sitting on, huh? He, no. went, he went for a five <laughs> for 36 stretch where he couldn't buy anything. And then he, he knows as well as I do, he's going to get hot again. Uh, well, just wait till, wait till you leave Seattle. Well, and, and, and that's the trick. You look at it, he's walked three times and scored twice. At least he's so, taking his walks. He's taking his walks. Yeah. And I don't blame the Mariner pitchers for pitching around him and making exactly. him take his walks, but you have to get the guys out behind him, and they haven't been able to do that tonight. Uh oh, deep drive, way deep left there. Traveling out of here off the scoreboard. Oh, brother. It's a good thing we talked about it, huh? 35th oh home run, RBI 78-79. He can put on a show. What a screamer that was. 12 to 7 Blue Jays. I hate to say it, but that was a bomb. Oh man, does he hit him? Well, it's right in the middle of the plate. He doesn't miss many of those. Wow. 438 feet. Had that sound, didn't it? 
about as crispy as these flies. Wow. Lind with a swing and a miss. First home run tonight for Toronto. He's got a good idea, doesn't he? Yes. I think it's safe to say it hasn't been a fluke. No. Jose Bautista and a 1 1 pitch. Bautista, first player in the top half of the batting order to drive in a run. And he has scored three times tonight. Top half of the order. He's the first one to drive in a run. Center field for Gutierrez. One out. Two runs in. 12 7 Toronto. Monday, August 29th, Angels will be back. Mariners and Senyo will honor the rich heritage of Japanese baseball in the Pacific Northwest. First 15,000 fans are going to get a Mariners rally towel thanks to Senyo. For tickets, visit Mariners.com or the Mariners team store. Here's Encarnacion. Two and oh. Three and oh to Encarnacion. Most runs the Mariners have given up since July 24th at Boston. A 12 8 loss to Tim Wakefield. Walked on a three and one pitch. Encarnacion is aboard. Let's check in again with Angie Menton. Hey guys, we just saw Batista go deep. Nobody behind him leaving the yard, though. Curtis Granderson and Mark Teixeira played roles in the Yankees' win over the Royals. By the way, Albert Pujols did go deep for his 30th home run of the season. 11 straight years for Big Albert. Wow. Supreme talent, that's for sure. That guy's good. So told me get 599 and 600 last night. What a great guy. Could happen to a better guy. Bautista, <laughs> boy, he's been on a rampage his last couple of years. 54. Last year, he's got his 35th here tonight. Colby Rasmus has had a fine evening driving in four runs, one for two. Watching some of the other shows and listening to the radio. Oh, Colby. Is a debate? Tony's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Hands down. <laughs> well, what, what, how do you hit 600 and not get in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> exactly. What's the and his career about? average is, is up there, too. He's yeah. got to be 280 plus. Yeah. I don't think there's any question. Right. I agree with you. I, heard. I remember what was a couple of years ago. Minnesota picked him up. He was kind of having a, you know, trying to find a job, and goes out and hits 25 for him coming off the bench. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. I mean, where are you going to go I mean, find like a left-hander to throw up 25 for you? In that ballpark. Yeah. Exactly. He just keeps doing it and doing it and doing it. Brett Laurie said a good game. One for two in RBI. A couple of runs scored. Seven walks, five have scored for Toronto. Jim tell me 277 lifetime average, 600 home runs. And your point is what? He's going to the Hall of Fame. I Come on. I, I think that's a slam dunk. The first time. You must have heard the same stuff I did. I'm walking around the house going, why are, we ha why are you having this discussion? <laughs> Almost 1,700 RBIs. It'll be there by the end of the year, probably. Well, what it was is people 
thinking of him as a DH. I think that's going to find its way in the right field. That to me is almost like saying Edward should be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, I think it's ridiculous. It's it's a position in the it American is, it League. Is. It's so been you're going to penalize a guy time. because he can buggy whip, drive in runs. And be, and be in the lineup day in and day out, show your versatility. And then and the award is named after him. He can't yeah. get in the Hall of Fame. Edgar Martinez. No respect. By the way, Tommy at the moment at 1,662 RBIs. He's got 38 on the season in 64 games. Aaron Hill, this is another long inning for Toronto. End right here. If a play could be made, Bart's got a chance. No. So they're saying Tommy had 310 home runs as a first baseman. That ought to do it right there. Another 93 as a third baseman. 403 of oh, a 600. You know what? I forgot he no, played he, a little. He, he broke in I as a third baseman. A third baseman. Yeah, 93 home runs. 194 of his home runs as a DH. All right. So there. I mean, that's slam dunk. This for me. Seventh man to the plate here for Toronto in the sixth. They said eight men to the plate in the fifth, nine in the first. Everybody doing the math on that one. He has four pinch hit home runs, too. That should round it up to six hundred. I'll take your word for it. You ain't, isn't it? On the hill. All those fries, buddy. Look out, that's trouble. Down the line. Coming around is Encarnacion. Throws cut off. 13 to 7. RBI Hill, his fourth of the night. Encarnacion scores, moving up as large. There's been a couple of flares out there, but the Blue Jays are staying in it tonight. Carl Willis, another visit, getting frequent flyer mileage. <laughs> yeah, wearing He's out where a path. he is. Right across that line. Telephone to the pen is getting warmed up too tonight. Yeah, Lukey. He's going to crank it up now. 13 to 7. 13 runs, 12 hits, an error. Seven runs, nine hits, no errors for the Mariners. Class act, Tim McClellan. Yep. Love that guy. Great umpire. Home plate umpire. Been around a long time. Good man. Got a great strike zone. Here's Aaron Sebia, one for three with an RBI. Eighth man to the plate. Skies it. He did it. Those feet moving, that a baby. He's there. Eight men to the plate. Three more runs for the Blue Jays. On four hits. Leave a couple. It's 13 7 Jays. Sixth inning. Time for a Banner Bank building to the future. And if you keep an eye on the uh, crawl at the bottom of your screen, we'll update you on everything happening minor league wise with the Mariners. Toronto, what a night they've had. The Blue Jays, nine men to the plate in the first, eight in the fifth, eight in the sixth. Those are some big innings. Mariners offense, they came from 6 nothing behind to tie it. Now they're down six runs again. Gutierrez, Ackley, and Carp here in the sixth inning. Luis Perez continues. Strike one. Goody tonight 0 for 3. Strike out. Strike out. And ground out the third. I 
like what we've seen from Perez. We haven't had a chance to see him pitch much, but he looks pretty sharp tonight. 93. He's kind of quieted down the lineup, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. Okay, good. Maybe we'll talk about jinxing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way so going. <laughs> well, the two strikes. Woody Ackley and Carp here in the sixth are willing to do anything. It's kind of fun watching you try to write all that stuff down over there, Dave. <laughs> going, you're, going, you're going crazy there. So we did. See it going again. Then living Technicolor. Let me yeah. tell you. Run out of ink. I don't see the ball down to Escobar. One out. Oh, good looking young shortstops in there. Man. Kids can cover some ground. This kid, Andrus, Texas, Ibard. I like the Angels. I like the Mariners guy. I think yeah. Brendan Ryan Brendan is as good as anybody in this oh, league. No doubt. For sure. With a hose over there too, man. Hopes to be back on the road trip. Adam Moore. Left side of your screen. Adam Moore gonna go out on a rehab assignment here before too long. He's okay, coming along man. good, man. I'll tell you, hard work in there. Kid's been hitting the weights. Said he's been healthy his entire career. Gets up here to the big leagues. He's been banged up for the last what now three years. It's good to see him laugh and smile because I know when you're going through that early on, you almost feel like man. Am I snake bit? One of those things too. You see it with players at times, but for him, it looked like he was Adam was just starting to come around when we were in Tampa. Starting to feel good about hitting himself. the ball hard, and yeah. he blows out going into second base. And it's just and you were just waiting, you know, for that moment and all of a sudden he has that week where it looks like it's coming together and then he gets hurt and he's had a tough time staying on the field since then. Three and one to Ackley. One out, nobody on. He'll take his base. Second walk issue by Perez. Here's Kerr. He extended his hitting streak. Major League leading 16. Base hit the center in the third inning. Scored a couple of times. One for two. One to Mike. All in the strike. Got a little bit of that Tino Martinez swagger to him a little bit, doesn't he? I was thinking about that just earlier about, in the game. Just yeah. about right at the center. That's a really good call. Tino didn't crouch down like he did quite as much, but he had that same little bat and swagger. And it's a it's a simple approach, square mm -hmm. up. But that is him all the way right there. That little wiggle at the top. Yeah. Oh, there goes that bat. Third baseman. They go around the horn. Safe cut beats it out. Laurie got it started to hill. And Kirk just beat it out in the booze you're hearing from the mini Toronto fans in the ballpark. Good hustle by Carp down the line. He runs pretty good. Well, shatters his bat. It was actually a really good play, I thought, by Laurie, the third baseman from the Jays. Some of the splinters until like that hits the ground. There's Casper Wells, two run homers, first at bat. One for three. Wells and Olivo went back to back in the second inning. But the Mariners on the board. Casper is now homered in four straight games. That was something watching Junior hit an eight of them, wasn't it? 
It's amazing. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Got a chance to watch him do it and Donnie Baseball do it. Yeah. I mean, that's when you think about it. A lot of things have to line up right to be able to do that. Well, this one lined up for Casper Wells. He drives this ball into the back of the bullpen, and you're right. It really has to. When, when Kenny was going through that, it seemed like he like he could go deep just in every at bat in every game. And, he, and some of those pitches were well, tough. One, the one off of you remember Willie the one Banks. up over his head? I mean, literally at his shoulders. He yeah. got on top of it, hit it in the upper deck. Yeah. That was the most amazing of them. I still remember that. And I think, if I recall, he, he just missed his ninth. Then he hit it up in the corner of the Kingdom up there in the Hooked top foul. right corner. No, it was in the corner out in right center. You know how the wall came up in the end, the blue tarp, dead center? And he hit it right up into that corner for a double. But Dan Alari stays with it. Throws out well. Big league play. Brett Lurie. He's a player, man. Nothing to crash for the Mariners in the sixth. It's 13 7, James. Seattle Mariners baseball and root sports is brought to you by Whitmer Brothers Brewing. Brewing without boundaries. Buy Pizza Hut. Get any Pizza Hut pizza, any size, any toppings for an amazingly low price when you carry out. And buy Jack in a Box. Come try the new jumbo breakfast platter for just $2.99 plus tax. At Jack in a Box. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. Very pleasant night here. 23089 on hand. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and Jay Buhner. Josh Lukey takes over on the mound now, the fourth Mariner pitch. And Josh, the good news for him is since he's been recalled, his velocity is back. Early in the season, his fastball was down around 91 miles an hour, but since he's been back, he's 95, 96. And again, command for him. You look at his numbers. Just need to stay ahead of some hitters. Use your fastball more, I think, early in counts as opposed to trying to. 15 to 8 will hurt you right there, though. Yeah. Strikes to walk. Right. See if we can stay out of the big inning. It's been the key for Toronto tonight. Nine men in the first. They scored six runs on four hits. Fifth inning, they sent eight men to the plate, four runs on two hits. Sixth inning, eight men to the plate, three runs on four hits. Well, you know this kid's got great stuff because he's just dominated in the minor leagues. Different story here, though. Line drive to center field for Gutierrez. So there's Randy Jensen's number from back in the day. Ken Griffey Jr.'s number from back in the day. Mariner fans sporting some good stuff here. Bring up Ricky Rick Thames. My ball, my field for Robinson. Two outs. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Big rude. We had some good years with this Toronto Blue Jays. There's another future Hall of Famer right to the right of it. And Alomar went in the Hall of Fame a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's right. There's Bautista. He hit a rocket shot home run, his 35th off the scoreboard in left center field. Last time up, he's walked three times and scored three times on the night. Sounded good. And look how far it traveled off the scoreboard. Love the way how he got to that front side, man. Locked that front leg out. Great some whip. Generating some bat speed. Boy. A lot of it. Nice number, too. That's right, your old number 19. Two and one. Slightly open stance. You kind of you would glide into the ball a little bit more, wouldn't you? Yeah, I wasn't a back. I wasn't a back foot pivot guy. I was a, to a front side drag the toe like like Edgar, like Kirby Puckett. Yeah, but Edgar had a little bit of that front leg kick going on too. Mm -hmm. Not not as much as Batista, but he really loads up, man. 
he just looks like he, he is just he can handle anything anywhere and if you make a mistake in the middle plate which is what happened earlier in the game that he is going to hammer it a little pigeon toe to keep keep himself in there and knee not pay up pitch with two outs base hit plus he's strong to get that right there get the head out 95 mile an hour fastball right on the inside corner hammers it into left field. He's been on base every time up here tonight. There you go. Two out base hit here. Three walks a two run homer and a sink. That's a line. <laughs> There's Adam Lind. It's having a plan of staying with it that's for sure. The middle. Zach Wilson's there. Throws out Lynn. That'll do it. Another base hit for Bautista. The Jays have 13 runs on 13 hits. Mariners need a touchdown. Need it quickly. Brought to you by Budweiser this year. Budweiser will donate $100 to Folds of Honor for every home run hit in Major League well, Baseball. Guy. Visit Facebook.com to see how you can help support our nation's heroes. Kevin Kremen. He's rubbing it in, isn't he? Yeah, he is. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, uh, Kevin. Yeah. He deserves a diet Pepsi. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Good to have him down there with his wife and beautiful daughters taking in this ball game. Boston's holiday. Josh Bard. It's one down to Aaron Hill. Josh is first at bat since replacing Miguel Olivo, who got banged around with more foul balls tonight than we've seen. I mean, for one night, for what, four innings. I mean, he took more shots in one point, what, three the, in a row. Yeah, and I think maybe the one on the chin is the one that caught up to him. Get those a little yeah, bit. get those cobwebs in there and trying to shake them off and probably wasn't able to do it. This kid Perez has thrown a nice ball game since coming on in the fourth. Steph to put the fire out for a little bit, hadn't he? Sure has. Avon Robinson having a good night. Two for three, two ribbies. That's his average up to 300 now. First time at home, we're seeing him bat right handed. I was asked today, somebody asked me today who I thought the left fielder for next year was going to be. Good luck with that one. Mm -hmm. Especially with the way these kids are playing now. Well, tough, tough to pick one, isn't it? Him and Wells, and you still got Pagero that swing. I mean, he's a player. Po possibly Carm Hallman, Hallman. When you get Carpen. smoked back healthy, I mean, there's a lot of guys. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be a fun competition that's going a nice into spring luxury. training. That's the way it should be. I, I agree. I agree. Nice you, to have that depth down there. Unfortunately, you don't put up. Next guy, man. That's the way it should be. Help keep those kids hungry, that's for sure. And you know, for those that that there we go, another line drive off of his bat. Thames can run it down. That's a nice play right there. Two outs. But Pagero, since he's been sent down, he's been tearing it up again, just like Carp did the, when he was sent down. He, that's what and that's what you want to see too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's rare Don't for go guys. Down, salt, go well, down. it's 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 rare, Jay. You know that you've had to do it. I had to do it. And most guys do where they come up and you get sent back, but you have to at some point. Go down there and take care of your business so that you can get back here again and learn from the experiences that you've had so that you no can doubt. use them when you come back. Yep, you don't go down and, and start putting up numbers again. Go right to the bottom of the totem pole. Especially in the outfield right now with so, such a young talent pool right now with the outfielders. Don't forget Robinson and Robinson can play center. Holman can play center. We haven't seen still, Chang yet. Forgot about him. Good call. Yeah. yeah. Still got Saunders. I mean. Wilson and then you got the other kid that's coming a player to be named later from the uh, the uh, deal to Detroit. Remember that from uh, there was a player to be named later and that was oh, supposed to be today or tomorrow. No, I don't. They haven't they had named him. But <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No. But, but that that guy whoever that guy is. Oh that be guy. A pretty good right. player too. TBA. You know, it's, yeah. it's good to be a TBA. Good chance man. Seeger's driven in two runs, his first two RBIs of his big league career. Mr. Perez has given up just one run. 
So it's coming on in the fourth inning. And you got Willie Mo. We didn't even talk about Willie Mo Pena too. I mean, he's he's in the fold. He can hit him a long way. There's a guy who can give you a little sock in the middle of the lineup. Ooh, jeez. Right under the five. Speaking of sock. Mm. That'll leave a mark. I'm not sure what that was all about. Looking up, he wants a fastball away, and he hits him right between the numbers. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, that's not a good sound. A little bruised lung action right there. It's getting up close to that. I remember when Tino, speaking of Tino again, when he got drilled. Remember that? He missed a couple of games because of that. Bruised lung. That's really getting in dangerous mm -hmm. territory. You don't, I don't think you expect to get drilled in the back on a 3 1 pitch either, especially in a game where there's, as you were talking about earlier, Jay, six runs that the Jays are up right now. All right, go out and talk to him a little bit, give Seeger a chance to. Collect his thoughts a little bit, catch his win. Bruce Walton, the pitching coach. Showing camp. Heating up for Toronto. Oh, I love it. Got him. Big time. Has no clue whatsoever. That's solid. Popped up. Some room over there. Laurie, no, into the dugout. And Aaron CB a gift chase. Make sure you change things up and ride Sound Transit to work. You're going to save money and your sanity. Visit soundtransit.org for details. What was your best get? I think it was the old uh, eye block on the uh, binoculars. We used to keep binoculars, you know, when you weren't playing, hand them around the guys. And, oh, check this out. Guy puts him up to his eyes and then has no clue. And he stands there on the top step for about an inning with eye black around his eyes like a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the old hot foot days, and the, and the kingdom was perfect for that. Jack Wilson rides one deep down the line. You guys remember the hot foot days? I used, seen sneak, on the used to be able to sneak. They used to have the bullpen right down the left field and right field line. Used to be able to sneak underneath the, uh, the stands, cruise all the way down. All right, crawl down to the end, chew some gum a little bit, and kind of slide it up underneath with a little, uh, whether it be a little Vaseline-soaked uh, cotton ball or whatever it may be, and just shove it up over back the heel. And then you take a coat hanger, put something on the end, light it, and stick it up under there. Man, I'm telling you what, it was soft. The guys coming out, coming unglued, running out of the field. I love that. You can't do that anymore. You can't sneak up on anybody. Anymore. Not even close. Just so you know, Dave. Yeah. My locker was right next to Jay's. Hey, we had fun. We kept it clean. Yeah, right. <laughs> after, after about halfway through the first year, he and I had to come to an understanding. This is my line right here. Right, yeah, here it is. I, I'm you not... took a piece of tape and you brought it out. You said, okay, this is me. You stay right there. Good move. Uh, it was fun. You, you know, when you grind like you grind in the big leagues, man, you don't get to, especially with the Mariners. They, they travel so much. You got to keep it fun. You got to break it up. You got to have a couple practical jokers on the team. I mean, Norm Charlton was as crazy as anybody. You got to leave your mark from time to time. Keep guys loose. That's what it's all about. All the two strikes to Jack Wilson. There you go. Did not oh, to Brian Ruggie. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Two and two. I used to always like though on getaway day, leave my mark on the shampoo bottles, put a little icy hot in there. Oh, so brutal. The next, really, it was the conditioner. So the next team coming in got a little tingle. See, I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't have to use that stuff. <laughs> Hill gets another play. Where's that Jack Wilson? They'll do it for the Mariners. Seven in the books, 13 7 Toronto. Jays, they've had three huge innings. The first six runs, the fifth, four runs, three in the sixth. 
And the Mariners did a valiant job to get back in it after being down six nothing after a half inning. Since then, it's been all James. And Carnacion leads off. Rasmus and Laurie to follow. Second inning for Josh Luke. Itra though cuts it off. Let's catch. Every major leaguer he hopes to find their power stroke in the batter's box. Ford has theirs with the Super Duty 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. Slugging percentage isn't an issue with Ford Duty power stroke engine. Ford Super Duty built Ford top. It's Kobe Rasmus, a four RBI night for this young man. Bases loaded double in the first, sacrifice fly in the fifth. <laughs> right on it. <laughs> one. one. He gave up a hit in the seventh when he came on to replace Aaron Laffin. Center field for Gutierrez. Two outs. There's Brett Laurie again. Two for three in RBI. Two runs scored. Ball one. Up the middle. It's got a base hit. He's got his third hit this evening. Brett Laurie. Good one for player. four last night. Three hits tonight. We were talking about it earlier. You said yeah, the man. same thing. Yep. Kick he and hit. He gets a little jam out. shot up the middle, but he, he gets his hacks in. He's got some definite plate awareness. There's no doubt about that. Bring up another guy having a terrific night. Four RBIs for Aaron Hill. Down the line, that's a foul ball. Great call. Corey Blazer. Nice call right away. Let's come right at him. Turin Homer in the first. Good call. That was a good call. Mm -hmm. Turin Homer by Bautista in the six. He'll hit one in the first. Four two. Baron to score two runs in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth. Two to Hill. Back up the middle. Jack Wilson's there. Flips to Ackley. Did he get him? Yes, he did. Just got the force of love. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Top of the order. Itro Gutierrez and Ackley. There is down 13-7. Baseball on Route Sports is brought to you by Snoqualmie Casino, Seattle's premier entertainment, gaming, and dining destination. By Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by Sterling Savings Bank. Visit one of the 178 branches at 
go to sterlingsavingsbank.com. Thank you. And to thank you as we look at one of the quintessential shots of Seattle. Space Needle and now Ichiro. Eighth inning. Mariners got big work in front of them. Time running short here. Ichiro Gutierrez and Ackley against the new pitcher Sean Camp. Third pitcher this evening used by John Farrell. Numbers for him. 43 ERA. One and two record. Five holes on the year. High average against him. 17. Shred bounces one to Hill. Been a busy night for Aaron Hill. One out. Franklin Gutierrez. Camp is on the mound for that Luis Rodriguez game winner back in April. Mariners were down 7 0. Strike one, Franklin. 0 for 4 tonight. Exactly positive how long it was, but Franklin 735 consecutive error chances, which That's is an American impressive. League record That's as impressive. he's rolling along. Yes. Here. Darren Lewis holds the major league record at 938. Wow. That's hard to do because you can actually you could make a good throw, but if the ball bounces, bounces off a helmet yeah. and kicks away. Yeah. Or, it's amazing. A lot of things got to go right, but it's yeah. eight, three call. Gutierrez is gone. Two outs here in the eighth. That's the third K tonight for Franklin. And when you're traveling outside the Northwest this season, take the Mariners with you wherever you go. Subscribe to MLB.tv today. You'll see every Mariners game live or on demand on your computer and your favorite devices. Go to Mariners.com to order and get more details. MLB.tv. Baseball everywhere. A ball off the bat of Ackley. What do you think of his swing? A little bit strange, I think, when you when you when you watch him, he just he kind of drifts forward, but his hands are always back. He stays on the ball, though. That's the nice thing. He's got plate coverage. A little open, but you were talking earlier. I can't remember which hitter you were. Pretty good. Yeah, I can't remember who the hitter was you were talking about, um, but the hitting against your front side. He always seems to have some sort of flex in his in his front leg. It's, it's never straight. Wow. It reminds me, Wade Boggs used to do that. I got get in a little bit, huh? Just a little bit. But see, he's got great plate coverage. Right, but you would normally expect him to, to lock out on that front leg as he drifts forward. Mm -hmm. And he can generate some pop doing that. That's that's unusual, isn't Line it? Drive it's swing. unique. Ooh. Strike three called. Way to go with Jake, someone else again. Sean Back Kim. Tonight. We're doing good. For us a one, two, three, eight. To the ninth we go. Six run deficit for the Mariners. Today's Tracer Technology is brought to you by the Emerald Queen Casino, the entertainment capital of the Northwest. JP Aaron Sebia leading off. Ninth inning, 13 runs on 14 hits for the Blue Jays with an error. 7 9 and 0 for the Mariners. John McDonald. Good swing the bat. He'll pick up for Unel Escobar. Donald stay on at shortstop. And Sibia picked up the RBI in the fifth inning. And that was a big inning, four runs on two hits, a couple of 
wild pitches in that inning. The center field backs up good. He makes the catch. Take a look at our Sterling Savings Bank game recap. Kyle Seeger. That's a good night. He got hit in the back, but prior to that, reached base four times. A couple singles. Got his first major league RBI. One out here in the top of the ninth, and John McDonald. Chance to swing the bat, obviously a favorite among the Toronto fans who are here. McDonald, a 248 hitter, two home runs and 20 runs batted in. Hit a pinch hit for John McDonald. It sure looked like two. he was trying to throw him out at first base right there for and a minute. He gave it a thought. They're just racking up some hits. 15 hits now for the Jays. <laughs> wow. the guy behind the scoreboard is going to have some sore hands. Sore back, too. Mm hmm. Thames, the rookie, He's had a nice night. Two hits, two runs scored. Some nice plays in the outfield too. Mike McCoy has come out on deck, so Batista's night is done. His bottom of the ninth carp, Wells and Bard. Ackley gets the lead runner. So they'll get two outs. Root Sports is looking for the biggest Mariner fans in the Northwest and throughout the season. We're going to be going state to state to find the most passionate fans in our region. This month we want to hear from devoted fans in Idaho. So log on right now to RootSports.com. Show us what you got. Show us why you're one of the Mariners ultimate Northwest fans. McCoy the hitter. Luke has done a nice job too. Yeah, he has. So far, just didn't jinx him. <laughs> Stay consistent. There's a start. There we go. Throwing 96 though, heavy ball. Yeah. Got some late movement on it. Looks like he's been able to throw his breaking ball for a strike tonight. He's getting some work in. 38 pitches for him. That's good. Get that confidence going. Young kid. Another good live arm in the bullpen. Seem like more and more of these kids nowadays, man, they're just electric. Some of that stuff coming out. Especially when you got a guy throwing 86, a starter, and all of a sudden you get a guy throwing 96. 
Aims it second after the wild pitch. One one. Saw McCoy a couple of weeks ago in Toronto. Over two as a pinch hitter. Adam Lind. Payoff pitch coming right here. Teams. He's at second base. I drive left center field. Gutierrez with room. Coming off Robinson. Makes the catch. Last licks for the Mariners. Ninth inning coming up. Clark Wells and Bard down six. Big innings tonight or Nissan shift to the bullpen. Second inning of work for Sean Camp. So John McDonald, we saw him as a pinch hitter, he takes over at shortstop. Yunel Escobar. So here's Mike Carp. Made it off here in the ninth. Camp second inning of work. He got a couple strikeouts in the eighth. Two Kirk. That is hitting streak to 16 games. Second time up. Single to center. Scored a couple of runs. Kirk, another base hit. Cut off out there by McCoy. So Mike Kirk, a two hit night. And the hottest hitter the Mariners have. And he knows his club down by six run gets a 2 0 pitch fastball. Middle of the plate he is going to square that pitch up the way that he's going right now. A lot to smile about over yeah. there, that's for sure. He's having fun. So is Casper Wells. Casper oh. Wells with this how about him his fourth. Uh, fourth home run in as many games. Two run homer in the second inning. It was the second game that the Mariners have gone back to back home runs. Well, Styles is off. So what a duo. Two hottest hitters the Mariners have, Carp and Wells. Another bat casualty. Break a bat, homeward in four straight games. Oh. You do not want to lose that one. No. No way. <laughs> I remember when I got a hairline crack and it was cracked, and I was like, 
right, I'm going to put it aside, and tomorrow I'm going to tape it up and see if it'll still hold up a little bit. You just try to milk that thing as long as you could, man. <laughs> you do. Hey. I mean, it's su- yeah. you call it superstition. You call it whatever you want to call it, but when it, it just, for whatever reason, that bat just slots right in the hand. It feels how, good. How much did you get at, get out of it afterwards? Usually a blow up. <laughs> <laughs> One, I mean, you hit it and just whirly bird out. Same thing right there. <laughs> It's worth the risk and the chance, that's for sure. Well, well, then they'll hang in there for a few ABs. Yeah, they'll maybe pick up them. another knock for you. I've actually tried to put super glue in there and then tape it up real good. Do just about anything. To keep the keep a run like that going? Heck yeah. You know it. Two balls, two strikes. Carps aboard. He's got two hits tonight. Inning streak extended to 16 games. Rounders have hit a couple home runs. Wells a two-run shot and a solo from Olivo, who had left the game because of multiple oh, injuries and a very late punch out by wow. McClellan on Wells. Second time that Wells has been caught looking tonight. Three strikeouts for Camp. One out here in the ninth. <laughs> Here's Josh Bart, his second at bat since taking over for Olivo. Olivo got the usual nicks and bumps but then he took one right off the mask right around the chin area and then he and on one sequence he took what he got hit three straight three pitches. in a row inner part of the leg and the hand twice two note bard Have not scored since the fifth inning. The Seeger RBI single to right with two outs. Speaking of getting catchers getting beat up, Bard hanging in there the other night on a nice throw by Itchy to home and bare hand in it. Tell you what, when Rob Nodine came out to sort of you know hold Man. his head and talk to him, and he was out on his feet there for at least 30 seconds. I mean, he didn't, I don't think he knew. I think it was every bit of 30 seconds, right? yeah. When he told him to count backwards in sevens, and he's like, I can't even do, do it normally. What are we talking about? He said, that's what I knew. He was okay. There's Bardo with a base hit. First and second with one out. Can't do it normally. I can't, I can't do it. But I got everything in there anyway. He goes, and by the way, your hair looks great. <laughs> Is that what he said to him? <laughs> he goes, that's what I knew he came around. <laughs> That's good. Here's Trayvon Robinson. This young man's had a good night as well. A couple of runs batted in. Single to the left, double to the left. Up to 290. And that was batting right handed. Now turn around, bat left handed. Three hits last night. Has a chance to get three hits again tonight. A good looking swing from the left side for being such a new deal for him. Yes, it's 06. Count two and one. Two on. Thirteen runs, fifteen hits, one error for Toronto. Seven runs, eleven hits, no errors for the Mariners. Three of the last five games, the Mariners have had double digit hits. Big improvement from early on this year. Not often you score seven runs and you can't walk away with a possible L. Still got two outs, but 
Pitch to Robinson. And he's called out on strikes. And he knew it. Veteran Sean Camp has struck out four of the seven men that he's faced. Kyle has had a good night, two for two with a walk. Had to take one in the middle of the back his last time up. Last hope here for the Mariners, all one. There's two RBIs of his career for Kyle Seeger. Toronto fans here in the building as you can hear. Most of them seem to be on the third base side. 2-0. Two Team one. Coming up tomorrow, Blake Bevin against Brandon Morrow. Morrow, former number one pick of the Mariners. Chance to go against his old team. Excited about it? You bet. 2 1. This is away. Three balls and one strike. Jack Wilson's on deck. There's Brandon. He'll be going tomorrow. Kevin on Thames, and that'll do it. Toronto resounding win 13 7. Hill with a two run homer, Bautista with a two run homer. A lot of damage done in the bottom of their order. Mariners were down 6 0, came back to tie it. And then the power of Toronto just took over. They are, after all, the fourth best scoring team in the American League. One of those nights, Dave, you just have to put this one behind. You come back tomorrow, still have a chance to win the series tomorrow. Not Jason Vargas tonight. I have to give him some credit there after giving six runs up in the first. He tried to hang in there, but it wasn't his night at all. But get, I like to watch all the kids. The kids no really doubt. had a good night tonight. I'll Jay. tell you what, they didn't roll over and play dead, did they, Michael? They came out swinging it and jumped right back and came right back and answered right away in the second bottom of the second with three runs and then followed up in the uh, third inning with three more. Mr. Buner, thank you for your thank service.